Today is a pretty special day because I'm going to go collect our own camper van. Look, I even have the plates with me. It's cool for many reasons. Um, one of them is the fact that this is the first vehicle I've ever bought with my own money. Um, and the second is the fact that it's a camper van. So we can use it to go traveling around in our own terms. We can bring our eight month old baby and our toy poodle along for the ride um, and have like a home on wheels everywhere we go. So we intend to travel a lot in, in, in Germany first and then throughout Europe. So some context around the purchase of this vehicle. Um, we're buying it from a camper van rental company, the biggest one I think in Berlin and maybe Germany. Um, so it's been a commercial vehicle rented out to holiday makers for two years. So it's like a two year old vehicle used and we're buying it for 68,000 uh, euros. These are diesel prices, two euro, two, two cents per liter. But before I can collect the vehicle, I have to go pick up some documents. The way that works here is that I had to go online and then scratch some stuff off the original, the current um, ownership documents, put that pin code online, put my new address and so on into the form and then send it. And then the relevant agency will look at it and everything. if, if everything is in order, they will send the documents to me. There are two parts to the documents, Tile 1 and Tile 2. Uh, it's called a Zulassungs... Zulassungsbescheinigung, if I'm not wrong. I think it just means registration certificate. I had some problems with uh, them delivering the thing to my address. Not sure what that problem was. So that's why I'm going down to the office to get it myself. Just faster, because I've been waiting for more than a week for the documents to arrive. <laughs> Got to my documents, now I'm officially the owner of the vehicle but I haven't gotten the vehicle yet and I'm waiting for the person who owns the vehicle to come pick me up from this place. So in the meantime I think I will take out my laptop and sit on the grass and, and write. Picked up the vehicle, I'm now gonna give the, the salesperson, give him a lift to the other uh, station that he works at and then I'll head home. That's the inside door. Center, bro. <laughs> Go in. Should I take off my slippers? No, I'm just getting it. With the, there's a carpet there, right? Dry it there. Yeah. Um, the baby. Yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> I need 
new car, a new home on wheels. Oh. Home on wheels, Charlotte. Let's go stop. <laughs> We're in the vehicle as a family together for the first time since we bought the vehicle. Uh, trying to clean up the <laughs> everything with the sanitizing spray, make sure everything is nice and clean because there's still a pandemic going on out there. And while we're doing this, little Charlotte is placed at the back, exploring <laughs> our naked mattress with no bed sheets. Oh, you're standing? Be careful, okay? <laughs> look at her, look at her. <laughs> Come on. We're gonna escape, ready? And here's Brownie. Chilling, looking out the window, thinking of a life. <laughs> looking at the mirror, looking at yourself. No, there's a baby inside. Ah, yeah. It's around 10 30 at, uh, at night now. Uh, baby's asleep, so we decided to come to the camper van and sort of deck it out the first time by putting out, um, keeping all the clothes for Charlotte and for us. We brought in some cutleries and so on. Just making use of the time before we go to sleep to prep the vehicle and then tomorrow we can use it for our first trip. It's 11pm 11, 11 right now. I'm actually getting a bit sleepy. It's usually like this before our trip. But uh, one last thing that we need to do tonight is to order, place orders on like, IKEA. Now we click tomorrow we collect. Getting things like bowls, a pot, some... Tupperware related things, um, chopping board, yeah. 